Welcome everybody, Kim Peterson from GPUG. It's the kickoff of our second series of Take 10 at 10 of 10. This is a series with 10 minute webinars with great tips for you to learn. Today we've got Belinda Allen, a GPUG All-Star, um, helping us in learning and this is, this is interesting. It's got two reporting tools in one. So we are going to have a session here on Smartless Designer Refreshable Excel Reports. Belinda, go ahead and take it away. Thank you, Kim, and welcome, everybody. So this is a GP 2015 new feature. So what you see on the screen right now is a my GP 2015. And I'm going to start by opening up SmartList. And what this new feature is, is we, we can create our own Excel refreshable reports using the SmartList tool. And that's what we're going to do today. So I have SmartList opened up. If you are not on GP 2013, one of the things you're going to notice right away is that there's this new button. And that's where you can create your own SmartList objects using this tool called SmartList Designer. And so what I'm going to do is do that now. I'll create a new smart list object. And I'm going to give it a name. We'll call this a PM Aged Trial Balance Summary. And I'm going to leave the product as Microsoft Dynamics GP because that's where most of the modules are located. And I'm going to change the series to purchasing because on my smart list object, I want it to show up under my purchasing sets of objects. Now, over on the left side of the screen, we see all the different sources that we have available to create this new smart list object. And if I scroll down, one of the new objects here that I could use is one called View. Now, if I create this smart list object with View, that's a view. That's how I can create this Excel refreshable report. And what a view is, is it's a virtual table. So your data is in SQL Server. In this particular case, we're extracting information from the vendor MasterCard, and we're extracting information from the open transaction file. So that's two different files within SQL Server, or two different tables. And this view is where we combine them together, and then we have everything all set up so you don't have to know programming of any kind to be able to use it. And this is something that your partner or your IT person can help you do. There are a, a lot of really good views available out there. I'm using one right now that I got from Victoria Uden's site. She's a, a great resource. So I'm going to just open up views from a company. I'll click on the little uh, plus sign there. And it's going to take a second for it to pull up. I should have clicked on that while I was talking. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to find my view. And you do need to know what the view name is. And the nice thing about the view, too, is you can do things like, you know, in Smart List, when you pull up a list of transactions and payables, both payments and invoices show up as, uh, they both show up as positive numbers. So in a view, you can actually edit them so that the payments will show up as negative. So I'm going to open this up, and I can see all the fields that Victoria included. I do want all of them, so I'll click up here, but I could manually select one at a time. Now, I don't need to worry about relationships here, because everything I need is in this one view, and I don't need to worry about filters because I want everything to show up. If I did enter a filter in, what I could do is go in and say, like, vendor classes, all the ones that start with USA. And then that would narrow down or pre-filter out what I want to see. A great thing about using filters are, you have to remember when you're using smart lists, that voided objects will also appear. So you could use a filter to exclude the voided objects. And so I don't need to worry about that, so I'll leave it right there. I'm going to click on Execute Query, and then my information is appearing down below. So it looks the way I want it to. I've got to forgive my resolution here. So I'm going to go ahead and well, I'm going to put it in Smart List. But before I do that, I also want to add another Go To button so I can also open up another report. So I'll click on Go To, and I'll choose to add perhaps another Smart List. And the Smart List I want to add will be one called Vendors. So perhaps I want to pull up the Vendor List. It's part of the Dynamics GP product line. 
it's part of the purchasing series. And let's scroll down, and there's the smart list itself. And I'm going to make it visible to everyone, so I'll simply click on OK. Oops, I didn't give it a name, did I? I didn't set a default. Let me set the default one so when you double click on something, it automatically opens vendors. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now, under purchasing, I have this smart list, or that PM age trial balance summary. So here's my age trial balance summary. Now, because I created this smart list object with a view, I now have this publish button available. So I'm going to click on this, and it'll publish it to my Excel report. So now I go into the purchasing series, and I go to my Excel reports. I should see my PM age trial balance summary. So let's scroll down. Let's scroll back up. They're in alphabetical order. There we go, PMH trial balance summary. And so I could double click on this and open up the Excel report. Now, one of the things I could also show you is you could also get to the report this way. I'm going to open up the report using Windows Explorer. Purchasing PMH trial balance summary. There it is. So we'll pull it up. And this indeed is an Excel refreshable report. So let's prove that out. Right now, a travel company does not have a credit limit. So we'll go back into GP. I'm going to pull up my vendor maintenance. I'll pull up a travel company. I'll go into options. And I'm going to set a credit limit of $30,000. Then perhaps we can go someplace warm. <laughs> And I'll save that. And so now I'll pull the Excel report back up. And you see right now it's zero. So if I go to data and refresh, it now populates with 30,000. So you could start by creating an object in SmartList using the SmartList designer. And if you're using a view, you can then publish it to your Excel report. And then it becomes refreshable. And what's really powerful about this is you could share this report with other people in your company, and if they have the rights in SQL to refresh, then they can get access to this report themselves without having to do anything else. And how about that? I've finished up with 2 minutes and 15 seconds to go. So that's it, Kim. I did it uh, nice and quick and easy and fast. Love it. Love it. Hey, nothing wrong with it. gaining two more moments. All right, so if anyone has any questions... I'm